Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of my current favorites in three categories, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Now I have a feeling people who watch my videos regularly are looking at their screen thinking, is Risa wearing a sweatshirt? And the reason why they might be thinking that, for those of you who are new to my channel, is because I typically get a little dressed up to do videos. I'll usually put on a nice sweater or a blouse and I'll have my hair done as nicely as I can get it that day. You don't usually see me appear on screen in a sweatshirt, a hoodie, and with my hair yeah, not looking so good. And the reason for my different appearance is twofold. One is because this sweatshirt, this hoodie, is one of my favorites for the month. And number two is because while you're not going to be seeing this the same day I film it, today is football Sunday. Now normally I couldn't care less about football. My husband and my older son, on the other hand, are obsessed with football. However, this is a little bit different. My husband and I, as well as our parents and our siblings, are all from born and raised in suburban Detroit. And the Lions have made the playoffs for the first time in decades. So we are all very, very excited to watch the game later today. I have really gotten into the spirit of supporting my hometown team that for the longest time was really, really, really bad. So I will be watching the game this afternoon in my comfy sweatshirt, hoping that the Lions make it to the Super Bowl. Oh, the sweatshirt, yes. This was my first ever loungewear purchase from Skims. I'm going to stand up and show you this super comfortable hoodie. It's a little bit cropped, but it's not super cropped. And I'm gonna talk about these leggings momentarily. But this sweatshirt is my new cozy, comfy favorite. I'm going to be putting on my uh, Detroit Lions t-shirt on under this after this video. I would never have purchased the sweatshirt had I not gotten an email from Skims. I've ordered um, Skims dresses in the past and some bodysuits, so I am on their email list. And I got an email saying that their winter sale was starting and almost everything was half off. I am loving just being comfy and cozy at home lately, especially after being on my cruise vacation and dressing up every single night. I just love to put on, you know, leggings and a hoodie. So this sweatshirt, this hoodie, was only around $30 after the half off discount. And now I wanna talk about these leggings. They are the All In Motion leggings. These are the Women's Everyday Soft Ultra High Rise leggings. They come in five colors and they are $25. I really like them for just lounging around and I do Pilates at home. So I've been wearing them when I do Pilates and I highly, highly recommend them. I also highly recommend flipping over from casual wear to dressier, although you can wear this earring set casually. I don't see why not. And I know not everyone has two or three piercings in their ear, but this brand that's on Amazon called Slung makes a lot of really nice, affordable jewelry. I think this is my second or third pair of earrings I've ordered from that brand. Once again, it's on Amazon. This set is currently, I'm looking at it right now, $16.99 and it comes with all six earrings. They have a bunch of different sets that you can get. You can also get individual earrings. You don't have to get sets. I've been wearing them so often. I'm fairly certain I have worn them in another YouTube video. So I think that's it for fashion or casual fashion. Let's talk beauty. First up is this Glow Recipe Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. Now this was sent to me in a PR package. I always like to tell people whether I got something for free or if I went out and bought it. I did not go out and buy this, but boy, will I buy it again. I have only used this product for the past week, like five, six nights, and I have already seen a marked improvement in how my skin looks and feels. 
Now the first time I applied this, I pumped it onto a cotton ball because it's a toner and usually that's how I apply toners with a cotton ball. But the consistency of this is a little bit different. It's kind of like a serum. And so I've been applying it like a serum. It's so lightweight, it smells so good, but more importantly, it has just given my skin such a brightness in such a short time. Not only that, but my skin feels so hydrated. I feel like it's sort of balanced my oily skin. I very rarely see such a quick improvement in the brightness and clarity of my skin in such a short time with any product. What I've been seeing, the results I've been seeing with this product are stellar. I've also been seeing incredible results with this Go Pure Neck Cream. In fact, I dedicated an entire video to my results from this neck cream. I was extremely, extremely skeptical, but this vegan cruelty-free cream applied twice a day to my neck and chest has made such a vast improvement. Wait, is this vegan? Okay, so I was wrong. It doesn't say that it's vegan. It just says cruelty-free. And you know, with some products, you really don't know how dramatic the results have been unless you take a before and after picture, which I did and I showed in that video. But with this cream, I don't even need a before or after picture to see that, to know that I have gotten incredible results. So, that is it for skincare. Now, when it comes to makeup, for my favorites this month, I decided I'm just going to take you through my still sort of packed makeup bag from my cruise because I haven't unpacked it. I have another trip coming up in just a couple of weeks, so I thought, eh, I'll just leave it in the bag. And these are my favorites. And I'm not going to show you everything that's in this bag, but I'm going to pick out some things that um, I reached for, I found myself reaching for all the time on my trip. All right, why don't I start with not a new product, but one that I obviously love so much, I have completely finished the bottle. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I actually ran out of this while on my cruise. I ran out of it as I was sitting down at the vanity applying my makeup. I was trying to pump more out and nothing would come out. And we were going to San Juan the next day and I thought, ooh, maybe I'll look for a Sephora. But the Sephora in San Juan is just way too far away from the port. So I didn't, I wasn't going to tell my husband, I need to go to Sephora. He'd be like, what? Anyway, I was kind of bummed because this is my favorite foundation for, well, one of my favorite foundations for nighttime. During the day, I really just wore sunscreen. I didn't wear any type of foundation. But at night, when I got all dolled up, I would put on this Fenty product to give me a tan and a little bit of a glow. So I needed a foundation that would match my new, more tanned skin tone. So I've been using shade number eight. I think I'm going to repurchase number eight again because it is really the perfect shade for when I have more of a tanned body. And I would not most likely wear this during the day. It's not a bad everyday foundation. It's just that I have, again, oily skin and even with a primer underneath it, I can't get like eight, 10 hour wear out of this without looking too shiny. But I can certainly get four, five, six hour wear from it and be okay and have my skin look airbrushed, flawless, yet still glowing. So I felt like I kind of had to put it in this video because it is something that is not just a favorite for this month, but has obviously been a favorite for a while. Now, right before I went on my trip, I received in the mail, where did they go? A lovely little PR package from YSL. I didn't get one of those big PR packages that a lot of other content creators get with like every new lipstick that comes out or every new eyeshadow palette that comes out. They sent me two of these new-ish eyeshadow quads and I looked at them. I thought they were really, really pretty. I didn't even look at any reviews on them to see if people were liking them or if they weren't liking them. But I thought, oh, these would be perfect to take on my trip. And I did and I used them every single night in combination with my other two favorite palettes, 
probably of all time. I don't travel anywhere without these. This is the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes and also the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. So these two palettes and those two YSL palettes were all I brought with me. All. <laughs> I know some people only bring like one palette, but come on. You guys know me by now. You know I'm not just bringing one palette. So let's get back to these YSL palettes. They are called the Couture Mini Clutch. I have quad 200 and quad 300. So this one has a little bit more of a reddish burgundy undertone to it, and this one is more of a neutral, kind of caramelly brown palette. They both have beautiful shimmer toppers, although when I wanted my lids to be a little bit more sparkly, have a little bit more pop, that's when I reached for the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes. I love, love, love the shimmers in that palette. They are just so, so stunning. The only thing I could see people not liking about these YSL palettes, they are kind of dusty. There's a lot of kick up to them, but once you kind of tap off your brush and start applying them to your eyes, there's not a ton of fallout. At least I didn't experience that at all. I found the shadows to be nicely pigmented, long wearing, very blendable, and just perfect for travel. Not to mention the packaging is pretty gorgeous. So also in my makeup bag is this Catrice Under Eye Brightener. This is such a nice product. Catrice has become one of my favorite affordable brands. I love their foundation. They do send me PR packages once in a while and they have sent some really impressive products over the last year. And when I get one that really wows me, you know I'm going to tell you about it. So this one is perfect. If you are someone that has tried other correctors, maybe you found them too drying, not hydrating enough, this one really performs like a high-end corrector. It's creamy, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, it makes your under eyes just really, really bright, but not too bright. It plays nicely under concealer, or, or you can just use it alone to counteract any you know, dark circles under the eyes and then just you know, go about your day without applying concealer. Eh, I might wear this alone, but honestly on a more regular basis, I just put this underneath my concealer. So remember earlier I talked about how at night I would put on, I guess you call it you know, body makeup, body glow. Well, the one I use from Fenty gives me a tan and a little bit of a glow. This product from Dibs took it to the next level. This is called the Status Stick and I bought it in High Road. There's three options. There's High Road, which is what I told you I bought, um, Good Life Gold, and then also Unbothered Bronze. I felt like this one was the most neutral and would work the best for my skin tone. And it says here, it's giving shimmer and shine from head to toe. This award-winning oversized highlighting stick for face and body adds a skin-enhancing sheen anywhere you want it. Made to blend and layer, this is your easy glow to for an instant glow up. I'm gonna put a little bit right on my collarbone, which is where I would put it when I, right before I would leave the cabin. Do you see that glow? And over a tan, amazing. You can put it on the face. Do you see that? It is one of my, yeah, I was about to say my current favorites, well obviously, but this, I could see this being like a lifetime favorite. It's that good. And then, on the cruise, we could play a drinking game with how many times I've said the word cruise. In one of the shops, they had some products from Benefit. For skincare, they had Caudalie, they had, um, oh gosh, the name just totally left my brain, Mario Badescu. They had some Lancome products, some Clinique product, and they also had nude sticks. And I decided to buy one of these nude sticks cream blushes. I picked up Nude Peach. I've been on a peach kick lately. This shade Nude Peach is such a stunning, stunning, Peach, peachy coral. So I was using this a lot in the evenings and then I would put my dibs highlight on top. 
And then when I got home, I happened to be scrolling through TikTok and I came across this creator. She's just kind of getting started on TikTok. She is a former model and also a former spokesmodel on um, The Price is Right. So obviously she's a very, very attractive woman and her makeup is beautiful. She also, I should add, has similar um, hair color, skin tone, and eye color as I do. So one day she went through all of her favorite products and she mentioned what was on her cheeks, which I really, really admired. And she said that it was Nude Sticks Picante. P Picante, Picante. Why can't I say that? By the way, I will have her name on the screen, so if you are on TikTok, I haven't checked yet to see if she has an Instagram. But I'll just, again, put her name on the screen. So, Picante, oh my goodness. This color is one that I never, never would have purchased. Look at how bright orange this is. I mean, I could see this looking amazing on dark skin, like absolutely amazing. So I just never would have thought that I could wear it. But like a lot of you, I am influenced by influencers. So I, I just had to try it. And a little trick, I had to get up and get a brush. A little trick that I recently learned from Nikki LaRose. I'm sure a lot of you know who she is. She's just like popping off here on YouTube. Just her channel's exploding. She is so good. She's, I met her in person and she's just so sweet. I found her to be so sweet and just so knowledgeable. She's a celebrity makeup artist and, and just amazing. So I recently saw her take the cream blush and put it on her hand instead of just kind of going like this with a brush. Now I do that a lot of times with concealer and foundation. I have my tray that I was meaning to wash right here, but I never, I don't know why, but I never thought to put the cream blush on my hand first, but it's my new favorite method of applying cream blush. So I put it on the back of my hand and now I'm picking up, this is a great little brush by Merit, by the way, and I'm just popping that on my cheekbones. Look at that, not orange. Well, I mean, it's orange-ish, but I think it gives such a pretty sort of sun-kissed look, which is what I admired when I saw it on, why can't I think of her name right now? We're just gonna call her the very pretty content creator. So here is Picante. I know like 100 people are going to correct me in the comments and tell me the correct pronunciation, which is fine, which is fine. The more comments, the better. But no, I am not mispronouncing it intentionally. By the way, if you're watching this video thinking, wow, she's got a lot of expensive products this month. Where's the affordable stuff? Well, the reason why I am leaving out some of my more affordable favorites is because I have another video that I'm going to upload shortly after this one, fully dedicated to some of my favorite, favorite affordable slash drugstore products. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so I think that's it for favorites that were in my makeup bag for my trip. Now I wanna show you some favorites that were from my January Testing Hot New Makeup video that I really liked when I tried them for the first time on camera, but I've been using them consistently ever since. And in that video, I used one of these new Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Velvets, and I used in that video the shade Kiss. And in that video, I talked about how they immediately made my lip lines disappear. My lips just looked so smooth that they felt so much nicer than the liquid lipsticks that ABH had, or I think still has. So these lip velvets are exactly what they say they are, very velvety on the lips. Now I have heard some mixed reviews on these, but I like them, I like the formula so much, I went and purchased two more. I purchased Peach Nude and Pure Hollywood. I have on Peach Nude today with one of my new favorite lip liners. This is Icon Baby from Charlotte Tilbury. It just launched like last week, I think. And this is a really, really nice, sort of lighter nude. I bought the lipstick too. So there's Icon Baby lipstick and Icon Baby liner. And I have to say I was a little bit sort of thrown off by the duo. 
simply because I find the lip liner to be a little bit warmer than the lipstick and I don't tend to mix warm lip liners with cooler toned lipsticks. But obviously Charlotte had her reasons. She formulated them to go together, but I like this Icon Baby with peachier lipsticks. And I happen to like the Icon Baby lipstick with Pillow Talk Medium, which is a little bit cooler toned. So back to the liner. Icon Baby, peachy nude, and then topped off with this Kissing Jelly Gloss from Too Faced in Pina Colada. In my Testing Hot New Makeup video, I used this shade, which is bubblegum, and it smells like bubblegum. The smell and the shine and the subtle shimmer that they have, and just how cute the packaging is. I, oh, I didn't mean to do this. I meant to use the Pina Colada, oops. But let's see how it looks over this. The little pink shift that this has is so pretty. So after that video, Someone commented, you should get Pina Colada next. It's such a beautiful shimmering gold. And I listened and I went out and bought it. And this one does smell like Pina Coladas. It's so, so pretty. I mean, is it mind blowing, life changing? No, it's a lip gloss, but, but they're so pretty and they smell so good. And I think it's also, a little bit of nostalgia. When I was young, a kid, we had kissing potion that smelled really good. And yeah, it just kind of reminds me of my childhood. What I don't like is how little product there is in here for $22. I mean, this already looks half empty and I just got it. I've maybe used it three times. All right, what else? Oh yes, another product that, you know what? I am going to look up her name because this is driving me crazy. I think her name is Stephanie and I feel like I should be giving her, you know, some credit. Stephanie Schlund. Oh my goodness, another Stephanie. I know so many Stephanies. I have so many Stephanies in my life. Anyway, as I was telling you earlier, she has similar coloring to me. She also has blonde brows and in that 10 favorite everyday products video she did, she talked about how she loved the Benefit Pomade. And I asked her what shade she used and she told me 2.5 Neutral Blonde. And I had tried this pomade in the past, but then I guess you could say I kind of fell for the, um, I don't wanna say hype, hype's not the word. It was kind of becoming apparent that brow pomades were out, people weren't applying pomades anymore. It was all about the natural, fluffed up, you know, fluffy laminated brow look, and brow pens were all the rage, are all the rage, and I, I like a good brow pen. But my problem, the problem I was having is that with my oily skin, a lot of brow products, even if they claim to be waterproof or water resistant, they still just don't hold up as long as I need them to or want them to. I always had better luck with pomades, so, when she said this is what she used, I thought, mm, I mean, she's a Price is Right model. She has to be under these hot lights for hours and hours and hours. And I thought, why not? I think when I bought this, I bought it in shade three and it was a little bit dark. 2.5 is perfect. Now it does give me a little bit more of a stronger brow. So what I do after I apply the pomade is I go back with, you know, like a fluffing brow gel. There's tons of them out on the market now. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow lamination in the, um, you know, I thought I had that. I used it in last month's Testing Hot New Makeup, but I bought the mini size and it's so mini that now I can't find it. I am remodeling, well not remodeling, reorganizing my makeup room this week. I found the box. It's the Brow Freeze Gel. So anyway, that's what one of the products I've been using to go through my brows after I apply the pomade to make them look more natural. Okay, I just have a couple more products to show you and then we'll close this out. Um, up next is another product from Testing Hot New Makeup. This is the Sephora Contour Powder in light to medium. This is the perfect, perfect shade of contour. And it has, in my opinion, the perfect amount of pigment. I already applied some when I did my makeup, but I'll show you it again, just for demonstration purposes. And you can see it applied for the very first time in that Testing Hot New Makeup video. 
And like most Sephora brand products, it comes at a pretty affordable price. I also bought this new from Dry Bar Hairspray. It's called Rum Punch. It is their new Stronghold Volumizing Hairspray. Now, I don't have my hair down today because tomorrow I am getting my hair colored, my roots touched up, and you know my highlights refreshed, and I don't want to I didn't want to wash my hair and blow it out to be on camera having my hair look nice to demonstrate this product, but then tomorrow have her blow up my hair again. That's just a lot of heat styling that I kind of wanted to avoid. But I know what you're probably thinking, you're going to go get your hair colored with dirty hair? No, what I'm going to do is wash my hair tonight to get out all this hairspray and gel that I put in it, but then let it air dry, not heat style it. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit on my ponytail. What I think is different about this product specifically is that the hold stays. I have tried so many volumizing products, volumizing hairsprays, volumizing gel waxes, whatever they are called, and the volume just doesn't stay. It looks great for five minutes and then poof, it just disappears. I have had such good luck with this product in the week and a half that I've had it. I cannot put it down, especially when I wear my hair down and I put in some curls and then maybe I'll put in one of my halo hair extensions and I can just really fluff it up and get some beautiful kind of supermodel-esque volume that stays. And finally, I have to tell you all about this heated blanket. Can somebody please tell me why? I have waited so long to buy one of these heated blankets. I used to live in Michigan. I lived in Minnesota. I never had a heated blanket. Wow, did I miss out. And I remember my grandma having one when I was little, so they've been around for a really, really long time. This blanket that I've had for about a month now has become my comfort blanket. Remember I said at the beginning of this video that I was really embracing being a homebody? And it's been pretty cold here in Vegas. Not Minnesota or Michigan nighttime cold, but you know, in the 30s and 40s. And I was just sitting in bed one night and I was a little bit chilly, even though we have the heat set at a comfortable temperature. I just got chilly and I thought, you know what? I'm going to order a heated blanket. And I'm so glad I did. This one is so soft. It's got four heat settings. I typically keep it on medium. High is just way too hot. And it stays warm for hours. All right, I think that is it for my January 2024 favorites. As always, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider doing so. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and you will become a part of the Risa Does Makeup family. I do upload new videos at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on Instagram, and on TikTok, my username is Risa Does Makeup on every social media platform. And as always, all of the products will be listed and linked down below in the description box, as well as the couple of videos that I mentioned within this video. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.